I want to share my opinion of living in Rome as a Brit. Everything is sandwiched next to each other. My experience of moving abroad for the first time here. And I'll teach you some English along the way. There's the noise. Quick drink beforehand. Mm. Now, Rome has always interested me. Ever since I played Assassin's Creed Brotherhood as a teen and adult, it's a great game. Then I came here as a teenager and fell in love with it. And I moved here five years ago to become an English teacher. Five years. So, what's my view? Let's start with the negatives. Rome is a dirty city. Rubbish is everywhere. The center, of course, is generally as clean as a whistle, as the concentration of people is high. Well, if I get tired. <laughs> the suburbs, that's another story. This has been here for at least six months. It's a shame, because the city would look so much better with more maintenance and care. One thing I was really not prepared for was the heat in the summer. I'm filming this in September now, so the temperature has changed, but August was hell on earth. Two showers a day were the absolute minimum. Good luck going outside between 1 and 4 p.m. and the nights, thank God for air conditioning. The public transport is also not good. Really not good for a city of this size. Now there are two and a half metro lines. I say half because it's still not finished. One thing I will say about the Roman metro is that it is incredibly cheap for a capital city. One euro fifty for a ticket. That's incredible. For the last year maybe, the metro A has closed at 9pm every day except the weekends. Rome. You are a capital city. What are you doing? We can combine this with increasingly higher rent prices, even in the grotty areas of the city, which are now pushing people further out into the countryside. Thank God for remote working, which has actually allowed this to be possible. Not smart working. That's Italian. Now, there are many problems, of course. Rome is backward in many respects. The bureaucracy is impossible to navigate, the traffic is a life or death situation, and if you don't speak Italian, which you should, it can be difficult to integrate socially. However, in my opinion, the positives outweigh the negatives. Roman food is amazing. Fatty, but amazing. The four Roman pasta dishes, carbonara, amatriciana, cacio e pepe, and gricia are to die for. Literally, to die for. The quality of the food in supermarkets here is amazing. The thing about Rome is it's still very local. There are loads of shops on this street where I regularly go to buy things like fruit, vegetables. They've preserved that local touch and it's, it's good, I like it. Now this brings me to the prices. The prices are good in Rome, considering it's a capital city. In London or Paris, going to a restaurant would cost you a lot more than it does here. Now don't get me wrong, if you eat in the centre or you go to a tourist trap, you will pay an arm and a leg. Such a weird expression, an arm and a leg. But you can find some hidden gems, some places where the prices are really good value. So good that I probably couldn't find similar places in the UK for that price. One aspect of moving abroad that many people don't talk about is healthcare. Now, in the US, you have it, but it's private. You have to pay for it. In the UK, it's free, but the system is pretty broken at the moment. 10 months of industrial action are taking their toll, not just on patients, but staff too. In Italy, generally, 
I can see a doctor whenever I need to with little fuss. My experience in hospitals has been extremely positive. Yeah, it's free and the government has cut a lot of the funding, but it is a lot better here than in many other countries in the world right now. Then we have the city itself. We're in Rome. The sights you can see in this place. Whenever I've had a bad day or I'm feeling a little down in the dumps, I walk to the Colosseum. I walk there and it reminds me of why I moved here in the first place. For this. The ability to explore 2,000 plus year old ruins and be home in time for lunch. Having an Aperol spritz next to the Pantheon or just going to Trastevere for a night out. Yes, things should be improved. The paperwork, the backward processes, the traffic which slows you down. But look at the UK. The UK is so career obsessed. We work, work, work and are always in a rush every day. And that weather, the grey depressing sky that you find most mornings. We eat terribly, are incapable of socialising except for drinking and often prioritise the job over family. And yes, Milan has become like that too, so people tell me. But in Rome, not quite. As the philosopher Lao Tzu said, nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Romans, except when driving, generally understand this. People walk infuriatingly slowly down the street. Public offices are open for two or three hours and then they close for the pausa pranzo. And then reopen for an hour. Parking takes ages. But you know what? I'll take that over the UK. Yes, I'm a white Brit who obviously speaks English a little bit, so I'm definitely privileged. Someone else's experience might be totally different. but. It's strange. You learn to enjoy the little things in life, like the taste of that amazing meal or the good company of friends. You slow down because you have to. The city literally forces you to. I personally feel less stressed and with less pressure in terms of career living in Italy than ever I did in the UK. And the wine and beer are so much cheaper too, so... I wanted to make this video to share my opinion because it's a question I'm often asked in my lessons. What's your view? Do you have a particular experience of Rome? Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm completely crazy? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.